Hey there. Hi there. Ho there. I'm back. And see, I, uh, <laughs> fourth time. Fourth time's a charm, you know? Sometimes you just gotta learn and learn from your mistakes, and you gotta learn that you gotta check all the things that you can before you start recording. So, I'm gonna speed through this first part because I have played this first part about three times now in an attempt to try and uh, record this <laughs> uh, before I get started. I have a lot of weird feelings about Homestuck. I've done a speed paint that talks about my experience as part of the fandom and it's got good moments, it's got bad moments. Um, as I grow older, I care a little bit more about did get oops, sorry, that was, I hit my microphone. I care a lot more about certain things and one of those things is uh, caring about I, 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 I feel like I've given people plenty of time to work on things and I do think that it's important to uh, be patient when it comes to Kickstarter stuff. but if you don't know, Hive Swap was backed back in 2012 by uh, thousands of people who were willing to pay for a game in hopes of getting it within a reasonable amount of time. And, you know, game development, it takes a while, and the understanding that I have of the Homestuck game wasn't the best. Uh, they had to switch developers very early on. But I've also, you know, read and followed Homestuck for a very long time and I've been part of the Gigapause, I've been part of the Megapause, I've been part of all the Mega Ultra Pauses. Uh, I might have joined a little bit late, but I did, you know, I was I was patient. I recognized that uh, Hussey was still working on the comics, so I was okay with waiting for all this to eventually come out. And it did come out originally in 2016, uh, part one, or act one, which is nice. It was nice to finally get some kind of thing from the game. And I'm debating on if I should play it for this channel, but I don't really know. Uh, however, I uh, I think I'm a little I'm allowed to be a little annoyed with how long it's taken and how there have been two games in between Act One and Act Two that came out. One of which has characters in it that are related to this game. So I'm a little miffed, admittedly, that backers don't have like something for it. They don't have, uh, I mean, like, we can obviously just watch people play it. We can watch other people just go through it. But I feel like for someone who's backed it, and it's been eight years, uh, six years, I guess, originally, but someone who has backed it should be allowed, you know, like, some kind of discount code for it. Because I, I recognize that it's not, like, games cost money, and I don't want Hussey to go out of business and all that jazz, even though he's probably made bank on Homestuck stuff, because he also doesn't allow people to make art and fan art of it and sell it for profit, which is fair. That is completely okay. Alright, hi. I have to re-record everything, so this is the fifth time I took off my hat because it's getting really uncomfortable. My act, my glasses hurt, everything hurts, my voice hurts, but I'm gonna try and get this done! Yay! <laughs> Cut forward. <laughs> Jimmy, are you okay? Just a second. I've played this a lot now. Joey, are you doing okay? Yeah, give me a second. What do you think? Uh, it fits, at least. It sort of smells like nacho cheese, but it could be worse. Yeah, sorry if I grabbed a dirty one. Uh, just make sure you keep your hood up. Do you think it'll fool anybody if I don't have horns? Uh, well, just keep your head down if you can. Sure, of course. Uh, I guess that next question is, where are we headed? You said we're going to see one of your friends. Will he freak out when he sees me? Critia? No, I don't think she'll really care about you being an alien. Besides, she's not more important. She's got way more important to think about right now with her huge party going on. Well, I'll keep my eyes peeled for a better disguise. How many people are going to be at this party? Probably a lot. She's a violet blood, so, you know. Well, I don't know. Zephyros, I don't know anything. Right, well, basically all you need to know is she's pretty influential, and getting on her on board is a big break for us. 
But right now, if we we should probably just get out of here as fast as possible. What with the drones and all. Right, sorry about your house and everything. And your crushed bones. Well, uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Great. Huh? Who said that? Zid what? Hmm, I must have been hearing things. Let's just find some train trinkets. Alright. Uh, if you don't know, I'm gonna go to this really quick. There's a hemospectrum, it's a blood spectrum. Based on the color of your blood, you are either low blood or high blood. It splits at six colors. I don't remember what the color is. It's like some kind of shade of blue because everything's blue. Uh, rust color is the color that uh, is the second highest and or second lowest and then Zephyros is a burgundy blood and he is the lowest color. Um, I think in this game there are lime color blood or lime blood color. I don't know. That was a thing in the original comics. Uh, candy red is a mutated color so technically the human race is considered a mutated color of blood so in theory I get the feeling this might lead up to what happens in Homestuck, um, seeing as though she's on this planet now. Who knows? Uh, but Violet Blood is the second highest. Fuchsia is the highest blood color. You gonna pass out? N no. Good, because I'm not catching you. Stop scratching at your wounds. What would your Lucis say? He wouldn't say anything. He is dead. Yeah, it's a hypothetical scenario. Mine's dead too, Nook Breath. Oh my god, are you guys okay? Wow, I am being an idiot. Of course you aren't okay. Yeah, it's fine. Sometimes you lose stuff. Sometimes leg. Sometimes you lose the person who raised you from a grub. That's life. Wow. God, uh, good luck, I guess. You too. I, there's a whole other thing. I'm not. I'm not. I can't. I can't. I can't. F the fifth time, man. Fifth time I'm playing this part. <laughs> oh, God. Hopefully my audio is better. I don't know. It was fine, like, before I just messed my microphone up by hitting it, I guess. Not even on purpose. It was just like I put my headphones down and messed up, so. Everything's dead. Explosions. Is there no... I'm sorry, why is there no animation for them getting up? Where are we? The last thing I remember is... the explosion? I thought we were dead for sure. Deer Cat must have dragged us to safety. Wow, Deer Cat, I never thought you'd do something like extract me from one of my silly situations I'm always getting into. But I guess it's because Damik isn't here to tell you any better. What about all those trolls back there? Are they okay? Should we help them? Um... Nah, I'm pretty sure they're fine. Tro trolls are tough. Uh, like, hey, even I'm still alive, right? Well, if you're sure, but what about your Lucis? Wasn't he right behind us? Just a drone bombing, no big deal. I'm sure he'll find his way home to wait for me. <laughs> we should keep moving forward, right? But where do we go from here? Oh, I don't know. I've never been this far from Alka before. <laughs> I've never been this far from my planet. Wow, neither of us know anything. Hey, that's not totally true. We might not. We might both know of only a few things, but maybe if we put our heads together, we'll know just enough. It'll work out. Yeah, actually, Joey, I don't think so. To get out of here, we need to know where we were and where we're going. The only way we could figure either of those out is if we had a map or if we used the constellations to guide us. Which neither of us could do anyway because you're an alien and I'm stupid. <laughs> well, probably be lost forever. So I think you just said an example of how being able to put words in whatever order you want doesn't make what you said necessarily true. But it does sound really, really cool. You know, why don't we take a look around before giving up? I guess that's a good idea too. See what I mean? I'm too dumb to come up with plans like that by myself. It's a little frustrating just like how he talks about himself. And also there is kind of a... Because they kind of figure things out from here. Oh god dang it. I didn't mean to click on this. This is a magnificent pile of trash. Yeah, some of the stuff is extremely old. I wonder if there's anything valuable? Hey, I saw a news story a few months ago about a bunch of people who got rich selling old comic books. Because people trash their comics after reading them, there's only a few of those early issues left in the world. If you could find something like that, you wouldn't have to worry about the drones so much. 
come on, let's take a look. Oh, don't worry, Joey. There's nothing valuable in there. The Tetrix says that all goods on Daltronia are mass-reduced garbage that only degrade in value over time. He explains that it's the tactic of the Empress to stop us from building an independent Alternian economy after the Phytus spawn bubble crashed it 300 years ago. Everything in that pile is designed to break easily and have a short shelf life. Just like me. <sighs> Hello? There's no answer. Maybe it's abandoned? Hello? Is anyone here? Guess not. What should we do? Zephyros? Ek! What is it? I'm sorry, it's just... Just what? Even with the hoodie on, I can't stop freaking about how you don't have any tro horns. Joey, we can't get on the plane train like this. Everyone will know. Okay, okay, don't panic. Um... Why don't we take a look around? Maybe we'll find something. In someone else's hive? I don't know, that could end badly for us. Hmm, yeah right, stealing is pretty rude, but it's an emergency. What if we left something in exchange? Uh, well, I guess that'd be fine. As long as we don't, we do it in a way so that they can never track us down. Right, er, I wonder how much money I have. Wait, obviously I don't have any money. I'm on another planet. I don't even know what you guys use for money. Money doesn't really mean all that much on Eternia, but items of personal value are worth a lot. Like memories and stuff? Or mementos and stuff? Yeah, kind of. Let's see what I've got on me. Um, I have a key bat. No, I might need that. A bat? Are we expecting to play any sports? Only if we're unlucky. Um, there's a mic Dammit gave me, but no, that's probably crucial to future events. Um, the spoon I bet might work. Why are you carrying a bent spoon? Yeah, yeah, it makes me feel some small semblance of confidence, I guess. Zephyros, please don't attach your self-worth to the fact that you can bend a spoon. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'll leave this right here. Now let's go find you a better disguise. I like how we leave something here, but we don't take anything. We take something from out here. Wait, I think I see something. Ta-da! They look just like corns. Wow, they really do. And yeah, so... <laughs> I'm skipping a lot. I just want to get through this game. <laughs> Oh, wow. I didn't know the cave would open to such a cozy little farm. Gonna let it slowly pan over. Okay. This place is adorable. Maybe your planet has some good things in it after all. Uh, yeah. We should probably be- we should be pretty close to the next station. If we can get through the forest up ahead, long-distance local train stops have been regulated for six centuries to be spaced exactly eight capacitors apart from each other. Uh, which means we're coming up on it. Sephiroth, I have no idea what that unit of measurement could possibly equate to. Anyway, is this some kind of bee farm? The beehives are so cute. But where are the bees? Let's just keep walking. We don't want to get involved with every anyone's private hive life. Aw, okay. Joey, wait. Huh? What's wrong now? Don't tell me. Man-eating plants, giant moths that fire lasers out of their butts, trees that have big angry vo faces on them and use their branches to attack poor defenseless travelers like that one part in Snow White? Yeah, actually. You nailed it. Wow, Joey. You're so smart. Ugh, you can't be serious. Not only do you have this crazy air to some kind of space throne trying to kill everybody, your trees are also trying to kill everybody? Yeah. It builds character. Jeez, this planet sucks. So how do we get through this forest? Well, when the Tetrarch Damic had me pass through strange areas as a test of the flame of my inner strength, he rubbed me down with tusked vertebrae slurry so I could blend in with the local fauna. What is that? Tusk? What? Oh, well, honestly, it's better if you don't know. 
Anyways, basically applying any critter waste to ourselves from the local area will work. Crushed up bee carcasses, arachio f acro arachido f sac fluid, that sort of thing. We have to smell like the forest. Yuck, this is such a gross detour. Yeah, sorry, you have to deal with it. Well, let's look around for some stuff to rub on ourselves so we can pass through the forest without getting eaten by giant trees or bugs or whatever. <sighs> it's locked. We could just break in? What? Zephyrus, that's a crime! It's fine. The owner won't be probably won't be back coming back anytime soon. That doesn't make it okay. It's just going to... St we're not... It's not like we're going to steal anything. We're just going to look for something to help us get through the forest, take what we need, and get out. Like what we did in the caves. We didn't take anything from the caves. We took something outside of the caves. We didn't even need to leave anything because they were outside of the caves on the trash pile. And also, weren't they lost? Didn't they not know where to go? How did they know to go this way? Like, the, the Zephyrus was just saying that he couldn't... <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. But how are we going to get inside without breaking anything? I don't want to ruin anyone's nice home. If I could just jostle the lock with my mind. It's a primitive tech dockings lock hinge, so my terrible psychics can do it. Wait, you're what? My psychics? Zephyros, hold on. Do you have, have psychic powers? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Why didn't you tell me? Do humans not have those? No, wait, does everyone on this planet have psychic powers? No, not everyone. I think they're kind of uncommon, actually. Uh, but Burgundies tend to be more receptive to the mind stuff, so you can find a lot of gutter blood trash with the weak sauce telekinetics. With weak sauce telekinetics. I still really, really just don't like how he talks about himself. It's, it's uncomfortable. Including me. It's still really cool. No, it's not. Troll telekinetics who are actually cool can fire mind beams and command ghost armies and stuff, but usually the jade bloods call her in to doctrinate the good ones before they pupate. I'm just one of the bad ones they left behind. Well, Zephros, as someone who lives on a planet where psychic powers are only in Star Wars and horror movies and stuff, I think you're the bee's actual knees. Wow. I want you to s I want to see you open the lock with your cool Jedi mind powers. Okay, sure. Just switch characters to me and use my telekinesis powers on the door. Boop, doop. Oh, yeah. Bloop. Yeah, I've never had such an unquestionable confidence thrown at me before. Okay, here goes. I do wish there was a lock on here that you could see kind of move or something. You know, we have like a little wind chime behind it. Click. Ooh, it, it should be open now. Wow, it actually worked. That's so cool, Zephros. Like, I don't think you believe me, but I really truly mean that. You're very cool. You're right. I don't believe you at all. Yeah, I do feel weird about breaking and entering, though. Don't worry about it. I'm sure the owner won't mind. Can we, can we, can, can I? Let, let's go in. <sighs> All right, uh, bloop, bloop. This was in the trailer, so I know what to do, and I've also done this part several times. I do, if anything, my favorite part is coming up. Wow, I didn't know I was in the company of a professional Prima Bella Reaper. <laughs> Thanks, I think. Your dance is really good, but why waste it on lowbrow cultural rabble like me? It was for the bee. You know, learn a bee dance, perform it for a bee. It makes sense, huh? Eh, he doesn't seem to like it, but I'm glad you did. Yeah, luckily I've got both of my view clubs in full working order. I bet this wasp Lucis didn't respond because you're a freaky alien who looks like she has a skin disease and got her horns horrifically amputated due to having soft flatty cheeks like a grub that should have been culled immediately upon birth in the brooding caverns. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, if this Lucis gets enough visual stimulation, maybe that'd trigger some kind of response we want? Huh? I'm so sorry. I'm just thinking my dumb thoughts out loud. It means nothing. <laughs> maybe we should try putting on some fake horns to look more like a troll. Maybe the wasp will like your dance then. We could use the traffic cones I picked up. That's a great idea. Those shells look like horns, too. Those cornucopia things. 
I could also use those uh, corns as horns, right? Wow, that's an even better idea. Oh gosh, I'm getting choice overload. What a monumental decision. Which horns should I wear? That is a very Jake thing to say. Um, which, I mean, like, obviously, Jake's her father, so... Uh, he's got, like, a weird antiquated, but not antiquated. He's just... He's got the pip-pip cheerio thing when he's not, like, from England. He's Australian. Anyway, I'm gonna go with corns. And voila! How do they look? Just like a real troll. Well, a real troll with a flesh-eating lethal bacteria inhabiting their pores, but that's more common than you think. Awesome! Oh, wait. Do horn shapes mean anything? Are they, like, horoscopes? Uh, yeah, kind of. What does this pair say about me? I guess this, with how hard and pert they are, it kind of says that you've got a really well-developed personality. Oh, that's very nice and wholesome. I'll try my bee dance again now. Oh yeah, I realized that I've been skipping out over some really dirty jokes, which I'm okay with. Because the jokes aren't even that funny. I kind of really dig this game a lot. It's fun. It's the only like actual gameplay in this game so far. Do 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 really like the bass in the song. It's so catchy. Not even catchy, but it's like makes my head bob. I'm wondering what happens if you fail it, like, just out of curiosity. <laughs> I haven't failed it yet, in the five times I've played this. So... Also, it's definitely easier to use your keyboard, don't use your mouse, because the... Um, mouse is way too sensitive. The bee, the bee chitters excitedly. If you shut your eyes and pretend the noise is coming from human hands as opposed to horrifyingly moist alien incisors, you might even mistake it for applause. You think that's a good sign. Wait, hold on a second. What's it doing? It's being gross. I will say the art is very cute, okay? It's cute. Zephyros, I feel funny. I feel like... like... Like, all my worries are totally gone. <laughs> I guess that wasp spray really does works, huh? Seems so. This will definitely let us get through the forest without wasps eating us alive. <laughs> it's really fun to smell like the forest. I'm not even worried about making it to the next train station anymore. Yeah, I think on an abstract level I'm worried about not being worried since my anxiety has thus far been the main thing that's prevented me from dying. But I don't feel it emotionally, which is a strange thing to conceptualize, but I'm really okay with it. It's nice to not have to worry every once in a while, Zephyros. Maybe you ought to use this stuff more often. I think there's a high chance that once it wears off, I'm going to start stress crying so hard I won't be able to walk, so maybe we should hurry. <laughs> okay, let's get on our way then. Like, I don't mind Zephyros. I just... I don't know. It, it just feels too much like he's written to be really, like that character that you're supposed to be really attached to. I still don't understand because they said that they're lost and now they're able to easily find their way there. <laughs> it might also just be like that implication that Zephyros just doesn't believe in himself enough so 
like this is a good relationship i'm gonna see i feel like this is like patron troll or whatever yeah anyway phew we finally made it i'm glad that bee gunk were off are you done stress crying <laughs> yes what stress crying everything's great and normal Zephyros, it's fine Getting your house bombed, meeting an alien, getting bombed again, getting juiced by a giant bee, and then peeing yourself when Deer Cat suddenly caught up with us on the road is a pretty scary chain of events. It's totally okay to let it all out. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we should message Critia and let her know we're coming. Her contact information should be on the tablet you have. Alright, we can just message her from here. Cool, what should I say? Um, on her way? Alright. On our way. Seize the moment, seize the night, beauty blogger, violet blood, violet soul, remember, Jivik week, sick, it's on sale. And you're just for the party, what party, you will ask, I'm not answering, why don't you know what's going on here? Sometimes I remember out there, there's fact there's so many trolls out there, and it makes me unbelievably sad that not everyone can make it to Jivik week. I kind of hate her. Well, I guess we just have to wait and see if, an ans if she answers later. Anyway, we should buy our tickets. Huh? Oh, the tickets. I have to say the X. It's my thing. I'm sorry. Zephyros, it's okay. I support your personal style choices. Please don't worry. Where do we have to go buy tickets? Uh, there should be an automated kiosk that sells them around here somewhere. Okay, let's go look. Alright, let's see. Yep, that's about it. Alright, I need to pop... I'm sorry I hit my microphone and I probably just messed up my audio again. So, hmm, but I have to pause here. I don't know if this audio is going to be good. I don't even know if everything about this is going to be good, but I am very tired. <laughs> so I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to do at least two or three more episodes of this. Um, hopefully this will be fine. <laughs> but either way, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and subscribe. If you haven't, ring the notification, maybe? I don't know. It's up to you, really. Uh, I'm just pretty... I'm, I'm glad that people have been watching my stuff. It's kind of... Hey, it's several hours later, and I don't know if this is actually recording into my microphone. It says it is, but, um... It cut off. <laughs> my computer is just... Hi, everything's the time today. But, either way, I'm gonna re-record this end part. So, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope this is all worth it in the end because, oh my goodness, this was just supposed to be like an hour long recording session and it turned into five hours. The editing is going to take so long and you know, it's fine. I actually enjoy editing. It's just having to do this so many times is great, isn't it? Anyway, thanks, thanks for watching. I will hopefully, you will join me in, uh, I'm swap back to part two.